I actually started my career in e-commerce. Um, so fortunately, I've been in this industry for my entire career. From when I was in college, I started at a small uh, internet development agency, working through small projects for e-commerce retailers. So from that point on, I've been fortunate enough to be at the cross section and intersection of retail and technology. Uh, prior to joining Miller and Knoll about three years ago, which is my current role, I spent 16 years at Newell Brands and Jarden Corporation, working with dozens of their brands under that umbrella. Uh, again, also working through different technology and retail initiatives uh, in partnership with those businesses. So one is hard work and you know, that is especially early on, but even throughout the career is focusing on what you need to do to grow and deliver. I wanted to be known as that person that always had a way to get it done. It didn't matter what challenge came up, you know, Frank's the guy who's going to be able to get it done. And that took a lot of hard work. It took, you know, unfortunately, sometimes nights, weekends, um, and just, you know, putting in that time and effort to make sure you're being successful. The second thing is flexibility. So as you're coming through on, uh, the course of your career, there are opportunities that come up where you can find a new path, whether that's a new technology in my case, or maybe a new position in somebody else's case. For me, those were new technology um, options that came up that I was able to look at and determine that I wanted to go down a different path and be a little bit flexible with my career and try something new and different. And those proved very valuable for me. The third thing is luck. You know, I've been very fortunate over my career to land in, in situations that I could have never planned before. Uh, throughout the course of my career, I've been involved in multiple mergers and acquisitions. And the, um, the projects that go along with bringing companies together that had nothing to do with a position I took originally or nothing that I did to, to get to that point. But based on where the organization was, those opportunities came to me. And I was very lucky to, be, to have to go through that and get, um, get more experience coming out of those situations. And then lastly is relationships. So, so much in, in this world and in, these career, in your career is based on the relationships that you're able to build. And I think a lot of these keys to success work on each other. So obviously, you build relationships based on being successful in the past. So that hard work that you put in, that flexibility, you now have people who believe in you and you've built those relationships. And when a new opportunity comes up, people are looking for somebody that they can trust and that they know can help them get to that level. And so those relationships are helping you out in the future, whether that's, you know, with advancement within your career, with opportunities that come out, um, or just being able to continue to learn and grow. Diving into new technologies was the biggest risk. Coming early on from my career as a hands-on developer and engineer, you get into a niche set of technologies that, that you sort of think you'll build your career on. And opportunities came up for me along the way where I had a chance to pivot to something new and different. And for someone who's hands-on, that means leaving a little bit behind what you're used to and familiar with and where you've grown your career on. And that it can be a, a bit scary. For me, I took a couple of risks early on where I changed and I pivoted and I went after a different opportunity and did leave a little bit behind what I had been focused on. But those risks uh, absolutely proved valuable for me in the future, being flexible to take on different technologies and different projects uh, really allowed me to grow much more than if I would have stayed doing the same thing I had. I think there's still a common misconception that technology careers are still more male driven. And while I don't think the scale is balanced just yet, I do believe that the technology industry as a whole can have gender equality. Over the course of my career, even today, I've worked with some fantastic women at all levels 
and truly think that there is a lot of opportunity to improve the ratio of women in technology.